Hey guys, just a quick little intro here. This is part one of this uh, story mission. Had I not broken it up, it would have been well over an hour. So make sure you're subscribed because part two will be out tomorrow. Peace out. Hope y'all enjoy. We yeah, I didn't really do anything. I never played No Man's Sky, but you see that sign I like the uh. Sarah. Uh, another Whatever. space explorer. What's it called? Right? Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies earn some credits? Even get your UC citizenship? Excellent. Just in? need to do a little paperwork. An orientation on the UC, and knock out an exam, and a probationary mission. We need to know you'll be able to hack it out there after all. Do well. You'll be out there keeping the peace in no time. Don't forget, John. I need him back after you wrap him in that fancy get-up of yours. No worry, Sarah. I'm not forgetting about you or our little business afterwards. Promise. First things first. Head down to the orientation hall. Get signed up at the registration terminal. System will walk you through the rest. Oh, and if you got a bounty? Well, you're gonna have to make things right with the UC before we'll let you join. But if you've got any questions, I can get you sorted. Right. Got so wound up bringing you on board, I almost forgot. Oh, I haven't. Come on, John. Let's hear it, before you try to convince him to join the Marines. All right. Here's what I've got. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. process starts with registration down in the orientation hall. Or did you have a question? Sure thing. What do you want to know? How do I get down there? Uh... There's a lot of walking around in this game. Trying to find shit. It's hella fun though. Doing a let's play on YouTube. This video will be in it. I'm so excited to see Tony after work. Oh, I bet you are. I'm just gonna leave her right there. Take off. And that might be a thumbnail.
Where's that going? My nice ship. Uh, yeah, I want to upgrade mine. Make it look cooler. I gotta go here. I know you can like build your ship or anything like that, but I uh, also heard it was very expensive. I should have said I hadn't seen Earth. I might have actually been on Earth right then, Loki. Don't really know. I did see where someone actually flew to Pluto like seven hours and real like seven hours of real time. You don't actually have the fast travel. Good lord, the gravity here. How's my mic sound? I adjusted my gain. Lowered my gain some. Always nice to kick back Sorry. a broken spear on your What do you mean there. there's no work? Yeah, do you have any idea how far? Look at this place. I can't imagine being cramped down here, choking on the fumes and the dust. No trees. Oh, no how to get there? <clears throat> you get a lot of got cold beers and good atmosphere. Yeah. Not much more you could ask for. Plenty. But if I went blabbing them to any rando that walks into my bar, no one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. See? That's what I'm talking about. You give respect, you get respect. I'm glad you understand. Everything. I make it a point not to sell crap. We got beer, wine, and spirits. We don't do too many fancy mixed drinks, at least not the kind you get in Neon or New Atlantis. It's my belief that the only booze worth drinking doesn't need to be mixed with something else to taste good. I, I agree with him. What's your poison? He ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian, especially one that's missing. But <clears throat> he has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. 
It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but if I'm out all that money, I got problems. What do you say? Let me confirm him now. Okay. Let's talk. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the Lady of Love. <laughs> Singing songs. All that kind of thing. Venus? That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I got what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make do. Forget it. Let's get out of here. Maybe it's not... Alright, this guy. Must be my neck of the woods. Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Okay. I do not like the fact that I just paid 2,500 credits. Get the name of my planet. Mars is wrapped with resources, which means... Lego. Wind explore Uranus. Hello, what do we have here? See that cluster of ships? Varun Zealot. You ever run into one? <laughs> Completely devoted to a deity they call the Great Serpent. The devourer of the unbelievers. I'll let you guess what happens if they spot us. Of course there is. If we can get close enough to it, we could download its logs and figure out where our vanguard was heading to next. Easy. Three ships to our one. We cut down to minimal ship power and creep forward. They might not notice us getting closer. But yes, worst case, we fight our way through. Oh, you kind of snuck up on me there. I am very, very sneaky, sir. I see that. Where am I going? Tell me to go there. I tell me to go there. Go to what? Galactic. Ah, uh, galactic. There you are. Okay. Later, losers. 
Also, 100% could have taken out all the ships. Oh, there it is. Nova Galactic Star Yard. Still orbiting Earth's moon. This is where the first interstellar ships were made. Good movie. People still use their modules, even though their star yard hasn't been running in forever. Oh, it's all ancient history now, but the Earth lost its atmosphere. It started sputtering out into space. Humanity had about 50 years to evacuate the planet. That's kind of how the United Colonies government started. Managing the exodus. Earth is more or less a dust ball now. You can occasionally find a few remnants of the world we left behind on the surface, but not much. Keep your weapons ready. Never know who else might be scavenging there. Ship zooming. I one hundred percent had that dog fight. 